So if if a player, if a matchup on your team against the opposition isn't isn't working, if if your teammate's been being dominated by uh, a, a bigger player or a, a more positionally aware player or technically better player, uh, who's who who's whose responsibility is that to change things? Is it is it the captain? Is it one of the one of the leadership group in that area? Is it the coach? It's so for at Storm, I'd say it's, it's very much the coach's decision. So if they're seeing things aren't working, um, they will obviously call across for that person to call time. Sometimes they relay the information to me, so then I'd have to ask that person to call time to make that substitution. Um, but sometimes it very much coach will tend to speak to that person in that. So, you know, if the ball's down one end um, and let's say it was a wing defence change, uh, the coaches will very much ask for that wing defence to make that substitution. Um, and it's not just, it's not because they've done a bad job. It could be to get them off so they could have that conversation and relay that tactic onto them and then they get back on court again. Um, and that's and that's the kind of like the team atmosphere. Um, I have seen within the Super League captains dictating that. that that doesn't happen at storm but i have seen where captains dictate the changes um as well um but yeah predominantly it does come from coaches and that is quite common throughout uh the super league and only a few uh super leagues get the, the i've seen the captain call those substitutions if 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 the coach has made the decision to keep that player in a difficult position potentially for long-term coaching aims and objectives, like, you need to work on this. Yeah. Go out and do it. Go out there and but, do it, yeah. Um, what, what's, what's, your, what's your role within that? Are you, are you talking to the, to the individual? Are you helping them through? Are you... Are you, what, 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 are you what, what are you doing as a captain? So, yeah, um, I, it's really funny because you, as a captain, um, when you know the players and you you know them for a long time, you do pick up on their body language. And I know when someone's not in it or they're having a really difficult game. Um, so my job um, as that captain, and I do it all the time, um, is to go and speak to that player and make sure that they're okay. So it could be things, um, well, at the moment we can't high five, but we can like fist pump um, in netball at the moment. But back then it would be like high fiving them, uh, you know, giving a little bum tap, just making sure that they're all okay, um, and you know, giving, giving uplifting. So things like you can do this, you've got this, and like, and I guess for so let's say for example we're getting the wing defence is getting beaten in the second phase of a centre pass. I guess as a captain I can help that player because we can till we can go two on one. Uh, you know, we can sit in behind and force a wing attack high so she isn't getting depth on second phase. So there's lots of things as a captain I can do and I, I, I tend to speak to. If, for example, I can't, um, so for example, if it's the shooter, um, then sometimes, because I've got um, Karen, who's my vice, sometimes I might be like, oh, can you just speak to Soph and just make sure she's okay or speak to Frankie, you know, whoever's at God attack. Um so sometimes I ask, because so, obviously as a centre, I'm running up and down all the time. Sometimes it is really hard just to relay that information on. But I think, you know, little things like a fist pump as you're running past or a well done, that was excellent. Like building up their confidence um, as I'm coming back to a centre pass is really key. So, um, yeah, I do pick up on that as a, as a captain. I do try and help them get back into the game. 